Hello friends, my name is Rajkumar Thenuma. Today I will tell you how you can use a MATLAB code inside a symlink model. You have listened many times MATLAB code can be used inside a symlink model. So today uh, we will uh, check that how we can do that. So let's see. So for this purpose I have written one MATLAB program that perform the addition of odd numbers appears between the 0 to n. So this capital N is provided by the user and here we have used one while loop. So until the count is not equal to n uh, this loop will run and if modulus of count 2 is not equal to 0 the sum is equal to sum plus count okay so in this way uh, it will calculate the sum of all odd numbers that appears between 0 to n and finally we have printed the sum right so you can check the output of this script so if i provide the input as 10 the output is 25 right so uh, you know that this is one MATLAB script now I want to use this script inside a symlink model so if you want to use this script inside a symlink model you cannot directly use this script okay first of all you have to convert this script into a MATLAB function after that you can use this inside a symlink model so how you can convert this simple script to a MATLAB function so I think uh, you know the procedure so the simple way is that uh, you have to write function and what is the output variable here we have the output sum we are storing the output in the sum so sum is the output variable is equal to function name right so function name is sum underscore odd function and pass the value capital N okay now we can delete all these lines okay so this value will be available here and at the end remove this line and put the end for the closing of this function right so now this is the simple function okay so uh, just to run this function in the MATLAB the name of the file should be same as the function name right so if I save as this file with this name then this function will work Currently this is showing some uh, warning uh, because uh, I, I have already uh, some name as sum underscore odd right but I have given some different name for the function or either I have to use the same name sum underscore odd okay so save as the same function with the so now you can check the error is removed right so now if you run this by just writing sum underscore odd function and pass the value 10 you can check the output right so the function is working perfectly now you can use this function inside the symlink model okay so just open the symlink create blank model okay we required one constant block right uh, that is basically capital N okay and initially we are providing value 10 because we will test this model at the value of 10 when n is equal to 10 so we should get the output 25 right because we have checked that in the MATLAB after that uh, I have to use a user defined function so that is the MATLAB function that is available in the symlink and this facilitate you to use the MATLAB code inside the symlink model okay and finally I have to use one sync that is display so I will display the output right now I have to write the code inside this function okay so this is the function so I will copy all the things inside the function right because I cannot disturb the function name here so here I can just update the input and output okay so output is sum and you can remove this one and okay now if you uh, try to save this it will ask to save the model you can check here it is saying to save the model right so I'm just taking sum underscore odd MDL right model so it is saved okay so now you can check here whatever we written inside this function it takes automatically the input and output now we have just to verify the result so I have provided the input 10 I have written the code or whatever the task has to be performed with this n 
that is written inside this MATLAB function, right? Uh, so now I run this. So you can check here the output is 25. Okay, so uh, I am providing the value of n from here and it is calculating sum of odd numbers using the MATLAB program. Okay, and displaying in the simulator. So uh, I have taken a very simple problem so you can easily utilize the concept in your bigger problems. So I think uh, the concept is clear now. You can uh, utilize these skills in your models. So hopefully you have enjoyed this lecture. If you have enjoyed this lecture, please like and share. If you have any problem, you can write to me. Thank you.